Our speaker is a prominent designer and influential professor of design at the University of the Arts from Zurich, where he is also the chair of interaction design and the director of design research. Please welcome Gerhard Bormann. Thank you. Yeah, when I <clears throat> talk about privacy, I will try to give you some um, ideas from an interdisciplinary and I think I come from Europe also from an um, intercultural perspective. So when I started and for this uh, meeting to think about the question and the problem um, and when I try to understand our struggle for privacy and I take privacy as, uh, as a public good. It's an interesting contradiction. Um, I need to understand the motives of the ongoing privatization, the disrepair and the containment of our public affairs. This is a photo from a gated community where we have this um, borderline between the public and the private. So the discussion about privacy, if I follow that, sometimes it sounds like an arbitrary for the commons. We define our public space as a continuum where we, the society, habitually invent and experience shared values and beliefs and where we interact ritually. These rituals among attendees are the theatralic moments, this is what Goffman said, theatralic moments in the process of definition of our self, our identity. So, the place you see turns into a space, into a public space, by practice. Role playing as you can see here on this uh, painting from the 16th century from Peter Bruegel, role-playing means exploring my identity, to know my limits, changing my behavior, evolving my empathy, learning and many, many more. So the real presence for me seems to be essential because real people alone can perceive the central differences, the central differences upon our mediated communication depends. That's why I insist in the public thing while thinking about privacy. Institutions and disciplines generate strategic plans and laws and important parts of our system um, and we discussed that today a lot. These systems are structured to achieve a maximum of control in a positive as well as in a negative sense. And I come from an art school. On the other hand, people require and fight for open structures where they can behave tactical, creative and productive. So we have the differentiation between the <coughs> strategic or strategical and the tactical behavior of people. Poaching on someone's territory, using rules, products or devices that exist, hacking, copying, sampling and many other maneuvers becomes the most important creative methods. And this kind of behavior can never be wholly determined. By its nature, the public space, and I think the public space is the really relevant space for us to design, has a strategical and a tactical affordance for the society. Every space where we expand our behavioral, our emotional, cognitive and somatic experience is remarkably insufficient if we control it. 
I want to propose a degree of respect, of generosity and uncertainty, and it seems to be productive, as well as clearance, a technology-free zone, or unplugged action. In search of identity and its conditions, we can observe societies and people struggling with this generosity. Nevertheless, let me say, this struggle is curative and necessary if we keep talking what we do today. The conflict between strategic planning, the policy of power and sophistication, which is not bad in general, on the one hand, and the partly unpredictable tactical maneuvers of people in the public realm is a productive nucleus to write the genesis of real social media. It shows me the conceptual intersection of interoperability and interculturality in terms of dealing with privacy is communication. Learning from design. Design is a process of arriving at an explanatory hypothesis in the public realm. So we build products, solutions. Design is practice-based and integrates users in action. Design creates tools for interventions and by its nature, design provides learning. Design helps to realize the virtual as a part of the real and to be aware of the potentialities and the actualities in time. So, finally, design is not strategic, what we often hear. Design is a mostly tactical action. What I think about also is the threats of a tautological future, the strategies of total control, even though we all just wanted to make it perfect. Perfection is magic and erotic. But I believe that people are used to figure out ways to circumvent things they don't understand. Or they create new styles of behavior. So let's adventure our traditions. Experimental research in order to discuss and change the way we handle user data, identity and privacy is a battlefield. <clears throat> My talks with actors from the banking world in Switzerland are the primary goal to achieve a common awareness of the potentiality of a given problem and possible solutions. One progressive idea from Norway in Northern Europe. What you see here on this image is a digital map and the digital map displays the citizen wealth and they make it every year for every city, for everybody, for every family, and everything is completely transparent about the income and the wealth. So this is what I mean. What is if we change our attitude towards our culture, the way we talk or we don't talk about money? The financial infrastructure is a closed system in which Every operation defines the total extent of any consistency. But for our work in Zurich, the Swiss financial infrastructure is declared as a design space which we are interested in and which we want to extend it for the purpose of experimentation and dealing with social media. This is an example what happens when I'm a part of different um, networks, of different cultures, of different realms of reality, when someone comes in contact with me 
I will attempt to control or to guide the impression that others might make of me by changing or fixing my setting, the appearance and the manner. So I don't want to be a member of a financial service or I don't want to be um, a client of a service provider. I want to be the one who can control the identity actively. So, what we are looking for, interacting with peer groups to interpret and validate information, framing new behavioral intentions to take risk or to take actions against it, engaging in group actions to accept, ignore or tolerate risks, transforming economic theory into practicable semantic action spaces. And or the one or the experimental setup for this maybe a bank for the use serving the public good and that should serve real experiences and will definitely change the notion of privacy for the young. So my last um, page, what kind of questions are in the air for me? How we can provide a multiple culture and identity under the condition of technology how we can practice our societal consciousness under the condition of strategical and tactical actions which are around. What does it take to handle the posted imperfection of the other? How we can work on disproportions, for example, the rapid pace of social change or informational asymmetries in different branches? And finally, what are appropriate tools and infrastructures to connect our identities if we want to. Thank you.